right so that's what that's where i left in the last video okay this was a figure and i told you that triangle aop is congruent to triangle b o p and you know why this is true right because these two 90 degrees these two they both have the radii in the same circle r r and op or po is common now what i asked you to do is figure out as many properties as you can using this so in this video we will prove some theorems some very interesting theorems based on what we know that this that these two triangles are congruent so let us see okay so if these two triangles are congruent the sides must be equal that's obvious the corresponding sides must be equal that's a more precise way to think about it now since these two triangles are congruent we can say the corresponding sides ap and bp okay ap sorry ap is equal to bp but what are they see ap is this one and bp is this these are nothing but the lengths of these tangents i told you length of the tangent was from this point to the point where it touches the circle not anywhere else so tangents which are drawn from a point to a circle so that two tangents one two they are equal in length <laughs> just show this and uh, this is for every circle and a point this is really nice so you draw a circle you take a point you draw two tangents these two tangents will be equal that is a thing which you should keep in mind all the time because it's a very nice result so i can write they both are equal tangents from a point to a circle are equal nice now this one next one is slightly more of this see if the triangles are congruent their corresponding angles will also be the same they will have the same measure so this angle okay will be equal to this one you can clearly see angle aop okay aop will be equal to angle bop that condition holds and these two triangles are equal these two uh, angles are equal now what does this tell us that tangents drawn from a point subtend equal angles at the center so if you have this tangent and you say okay this subtends this much angle and you have another tangent from the same point the both of them subtend equal angles right at the center that's one way to think about it from this since these two angles are equal okay this is my theta let's call this theta this will be 90 minus theta okay theta 90 90 minus theta this will also be 90 minus theta these two angles angle apo will be equal to angle b p o you can also see this from the way we write these letters b now what does this mean if you draw a line connecting the center and a point and from this point we draw two tangents the tangents will be equally inclined that's what we say it makes an angle theta it makes an also an, will also make it's the same angle so these are equally inclined another way to think about this is that the center okay lies on the angle bisector so if you have this so if you are only given this thing you just draw join this and you bisect this uh, bisect this angle so you get these two things similarly similar is the case for case for this one that this angle is the bisector of the couple angle aob let's write this down okay 
एंगल ए ओ पी इज इक्वल टू एंगल ए ओ पी बी ओ पी विच इज हाफ ऑफ द टोटल एंगल डी ओ बी सेम गोज फॉर दिस थिंग यू कैन इजली शो दिस नाउ दिस वॉज इजी दिस वॉज ट्रेवल नाउ नोटिस दिस थिंग इफ आई एड दिस टू Okay, if I add all these four angles, up, what do we get? See, this is theta plus theta, okay, two theta, ninety minus theta plus ninety minus theta, so we get plus one eighty minus two theta, which is think about one hundred eighty degrees. What does this tell us? Think about this. What it means is you have a quadrilateral, A O B P. and these two angles angle 1 and angle p are the opposite angles that's a very important thing these are opposite angles so angle o and angle p they both add up to 180 degrees what does this tell you this tells us that if you remember your theorems on the cyclic quadrilateral correctly <laughs> the quadrilateral apbo is a cyclic quadrilateral Interesting, right? You draw the tangent, and you get a cyclic quadrilateral. And it will also follow properties of cyclic quadrilaterals. So, in the next video, we will discuss, and the next few videos, couple of videos, we will discuss about two very special theorems and formulae on cyclic quadrilaterals, the Ptolemy theorem, and the Brahmagupta formula, which is. useful in finding this areas so thanks for watching and i hope you get a gain a lot from this